In this video, we'll learn how to name sulfides or thioethers. Let's jump right in. We know that a thioether looks an awful lot like an ether, carbon, oxygen, carbon. But because sulfur is right below oxygen in the periodic table, a thioether could be a carbon, sulfur, carbon. So a thioether, or we also call those sulfides. And like most things, we have a technical IUPAC way of naming them and a common way of naming them. And if we know how to name ethers, this is very similar, so quite easy to do. So the IUPAC name, well, you want to have an alkyl thio group on an alkane base ending. So what we do is we find the longest carbon chain. We have a one carbon methyl and a three carbon propyl. So that'll be our last. So a methyl here, names that part. So we'll name the propyl as propane. So that names this part. Now I need to name the sulfur and the methyl part. So that's called a methyl thio group. Methyl thio propane. And that's on carbon one of the propane. So we could call it one methyl thio propane. This one we find the longest carbon chain, two carbons. So that's ethane at the very end. That names that piece. So this piece is an ethyl thio group. 2-carbon ethyl, the sulfur is the thio part, so that's an ethyl thioethane, and you could put a 1 on it if you wanted to number the ethane. So, find the alkyl group, put the thio prefix, which means the sulfur part, on the longest base chain. The common way of doing it might be a little easier. You name the two alkyl groups and you put the word sulfide on the very end. And these are in alphabetical order. So let's redraw this one. So I've got a methyl and a propyl. M comes before P, so this is called methyl propyl sulfide. Methyl propyl sulfide. Just name the two groups on the sulfide. This one let me redraw it. Is it ethyl and an ethyl? So instead of writing ethyl twice, and since there's two of them, we just say diethyl sulfide. Let me give you one more for a bonus. So how would we name this group? Let's start with the common way. Well, we have on this side an ethyl group. And on this side, we have one, two, three, four carbons, a butyl group. So it's a butyl and an ethyl. Butyl comes first, alphabetically. So it's butyl, ethyl, sulfide. And everybody would know what you're talking about. If you wanted to name it through IUPAC, we find the longest carbon chain, two carbons and four carbons. So we name this part first. So it'll be some kind of butane, since there's four carbons in the base chain. And then we name this as a substituent. We have an ethyl thio group. And it'd be on carbon one of the butane. So one ethyl thio butane would be the IUPAC way of naming it. I hope that helps. You name sulfides or thioethers. Hey, subscribe to the channel and watch some of my other organic chemistry videos.